Hey, what's up guys? Little man with a big opinion. I've got a little bit of an update from the video I released last night discussing the whole World War III thing. Um, originally, I saw news articles saying we went from 5,000 to 50,000. Uh, the most recent numbers I'm seeing now is 8,500 are on heightened alert. Uh, this comes after... Russia has staged about 100,000 troops fairly close to the Ukrainian border. Uh, Russia has implemented um, some military training drills uh, and the Kremlin has reported that Russia is not the aggressor in this scenario. It is the West. Uh, they're just training military forces. Uh, Croatia has said that they will withdraw their military forces uh, from NATO in the event of a Ukrainian uh, Russian conflict and <clears throat> the prime ministers of Germany and Britain met up and discussed you know, how they would have a unified response to Russian aggression. Um, a lot of it doesn't make sense to me, uh, and it might just be above my head, but if only two countries within NATO or two countries within the European Union uh, are planning their unified response, then... This whole thing looks ugly. Uh, you know, as it stands, you know, I, obviously I want to pick. Sorry, you got a phone call. <clears throat> as it stands, I obviously would like to believe my own country before I believe another country. Uh, but. You know, like I said in my video last night, moving troops within your own border <clears throat> and telling the world what you're doing, or at least on the surface, telling them what you're doing, isn't against the law in any way. Uh, so... You know, let Russia do Russia and let America do America, I guess. Uh, <clears throat> as it stands with NATO, um, the Western powers really want uh, Ukraine to join it. And <clears throat> from that <clears throat> military treaty stance, uh, we've got an obligation to help out other NATO countries or potentially <clears throat> NATO countries. So we've got that going for us. We also have a f pretty decent size percent of the U.S. population that says it doesn't directly affect us. So why are we getting involved? And both of them are good questions. Uh, both of them should be answered <clears throat> at some point. Uh, but as a prepper, uh, this update from the previous night's video, it's really hard to say if things are, you know, developing for the worse or developing for the best. Uh, you know, obviously the news is going to want to pick up anything involved in this just to keep it elevated at the top of the news. Uh, political leaders since World War I have been discussing what they're going to do if this country does this or that country does that. Um, I imagine just in Biden's first year in office, he's talked with foreign leaders and our top military has talked with their top military. Uh, you know, we've probably talked with Japan on what we're going to do with China if they mess with Taiwan. 
we've probably talked with Great Britain and France to something. And, you know, it reminds me of Batman with the Justice League. Uh, he created a contingency plan for every member of the Justice League if they went rogue. <clears throat> they found out about it. They were pissed. And they were like, you know, you did all of this, but... You didn't make one for yourself? And he's like, you're just assuming. Of course I made one for myself. Uh, but we've probably done this dozens of times in the last year. I never heard about it in the news. <clears throat> and, you know, the previous president probably did it several dozen times of the previous. And our presidents have probably done it up since... World War One, when you could more easily communicate. So, hard to say if we've got good development or bad development, but, you know, my stance is still the same as a prepper. Uh, stack to the rafters and be hyper vigilant with you watching the news. Because, <clears throat> like I said, when I record videos where I'm covering news topics, I think I need to start putting a disclaimer saying, you know, things could have changed since I've talked about this. Because if you watched my video from last night, you know, 50,000 on heightened alert is a big difference between 8,500. Uh, so maybe I'll change the titles and make it part one and part two. But stack to the rafters uh you know don't go out and panic by <clears throat> although you know if something happened tomorrow and you panic bought and spent all of your money and maxed out credit cards you'd probably feel pretty happy but <clears throat> that's crappy uh financial advice and i can't give financial advice so continue with your budget uh if you don't have a prepping budget, you're new to prepping, um, then I would suggest you figure out what your monthly expenses are <clears throat> and your monthly income. And that way you can determine how much you can spend on preps. <clears throat> Maybe you need to cut back in certain areas. <clears throat> Maybe you need to <clears throat> try to get more hours or a second job. It's, every case is different. <clears throat> I can't tell you how much you should spend on prepping, but, you know, it needs to be a substantial amount to the point of you can visibly see a difference. So, you know, it needs to be more than a dollar a week kind of thing. But I don't want to keep rambling on. Those are the updates I got for you. I will release another video probably later today, maybe tomorrow morning, covering the same topic. Uh, <clears throat> if I continue to see uh, differing stories or things get updated. But with that, if you didn't watch today's video, watch, or if, if you didn't watch yesterday's video, then go check that one out and then subscribe to the channel because I do stay hypervigilant with the news and if it's easier for you to listen to someone else tell you what's going on, uh, <clears throat> you know, I'm pretty point blank about it and my only bias when I'm reading it is how does it affect a prepper. So <clears throat> with that, hit the little bell at the same time, it lets you know when I release a video. I'll catch you in the next one.